This is the best defense to use in Madden 23. No! It stops the run. Plays airtight pass defense. Oh my god! And gets tons of takeaways all game. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The offense and defenses that I'll be using in today's gameplay can be found in my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook and my Denver Broncos defensive ebook as they are my two favorite playbooks and have been for most of the season. Today's game is a Super Bowl preview as I'm sure most people are using one of the two teams that are playing in the Super Bowl at this point. Let me know in the comment section what team you're rooting for to win. You know who I'm rooting for as I'm an Eagles fan. Let's go baby. Before I get into the video though, if you guys want to see more gameplays like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the channel and the video. And if you want to see more money plays like this right now, from this or any of my ebooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment and have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. In this game, I start out on offense and I'm going to be running my gun stack wide flex offense to start the game, but I'm going to be focusing mostly on defense in this video. I just made an updated video version of this offense though, so if you guys want to see more, we'll have a link in the description as well as an on screen pop up at the end of the video, so stick around for that. This offense is all about working the running back early, so I start with the inside zone one way before swinging it out to the flat on a wheel route to the running back in the opposite direction on the next play the user is chasing to that side of the field so i hit the in route wide open over the middle for a big play on the next play though i see he is finally in something other than a man zero blitz as i read a possible cover three so since i'm already on the hash mark i switch over to my cover three one play touchdown to fade out all you have to do is put this x route on a comeback bullet and pass lead outside and boom break yourself fool <laughs> We are up a quick 7-0. On defense, I'm going to be using a variety of cover two man defenses, starting with the quarter 1-3-7 to match his three wide receiver set, as this defense is probably the best when it comes to facing high-powered passing offenses like Kansas City. The setup I'm going to show you guys today, though, can work from just about any defense. The most important thing is the match personnel of the offense. So since he's in a three wide receiver set, I'm going to make sure I have at least three cornerbacks or more on the field, since Kelsey is basically a receiver as well. I make a lot of different coaching adjustments, but the most important one to make is to set your ball in the air defense to play receiver. I just just made a video explaining the best coaching adjustments to use in game so if you want to see a full breakdown of this i'll once again have a link in the description and a pop-up at the end of the video so stick around for that on the first play i expect him to pass so i don't do the full setup and he runs right up the middle on me before i can make the proper adjustments in this formation, if you want to play the run, just pinch the defensive line and linebackers. And if you want better pass rush, you just have to spread them the same way. Just make sure that the defender man to the running back is on the right side in front of him, or you might have to flip the play before doing the setup. On the next play, I see this guy is in the exact same offensive formation that I'm in, so he probably knows this offense, as most people I play by now do, thanks to you guys. So I expect him to run the PA read one play touchdown setup, and that's exactly what he does, but I'm all over it as I cut it off with my user. No. As far as the coverage adjustments go for this defense, all you have to do is press the DBs and shade underneath so that the cornerbacks will play the short routes and hopefully the safeties will take away the deep ones. I say hopefully because on the next play, the safety was in a little too close against this spread formation and Bradbury can't keep up. Yeah with the speed of Nicole Hardman as he gets past them both for a big play. No big deal though, as once again, I will show you guys how to sure that up later in the video. Bradbury isn't done getting pooped on though, as on the next play, the tight formation makes him miss his jam and lets Juju get right past him for a touchdown. Damn it! Not the best first series, but like I said, all that can be fixed with adjustments. Back on offense and back to the running back is you have to make your opponent pay attention to that first. But since he's running the same offense I am, it also means that he probably knows all the tricks. So I decided to switch out to a different offense entirely in the gun tight offset te only to fail in the first two plays nope so now on third and ten i will go back to my old reliable play the saints fork i just made an updated video about this yesterday so i'll once again have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out as i get a first down on a tightly contested catch you got most. then i go back to the gun tight as this offense is very similar to gun stack as i once again work the running back until he pays attention to it as i get another easy first down before getting sacked on the next play and knocked back to a second and 20. forcing me back into the gun empty y saint formation once again i decide to work the middle of the field so that he stays home with his user on the next play before going over the top against his cover two zone to take the lead back 
Back on defense, him and I are pretty much running the same offensive formation at this point, and on the next play, he throws into a crowd of tight coverage over the middle that is knocked down. Nope. Only this time, I pitch the linebacker so that I close up the defensive line and play the run better. I think this adjustment makes him switch out the last second to a pass play as I take away his first read in Kelsey, and he tries to force it over the middle deep gotcha, bitch. for our first interception of the game, setting up great field position at the 30. He is still running a lot of man zero, so on the first play, I take off with the quarterback before hitting a zig route on the next play to reset the downs. Then on the next play, I make a bad read as I think Hurts floated up just a little too long. No! And now instead of taking a two touchdown lead, we gift him a pick six for him to tie the game at 14 apiece. Back on offense, he is still in man zero, so we hit the sale route. Then we go back to running the ball and get inside the 10 yard line while also killing some clock in the process as we are now under two minutes. So now in every play that I run, I'm also running the play clock out to zero. On the next play, I try to punch it in with the quarterback sneak only to get denied. I've heard people say that if you say you're blocking too aggressive that it helps with the QB sneak, but I missed on both attempts, so I guess that's bullshit. As I kick a field goal just to guarantee me to take the lead in a half. I start the second half on defense and I come back out in my quarter 137. On the first play, the run adjustment works as it forces him outside. Yep. But I try to safe tackle and it never triggers an animation. On the next play, I use the same defense and this time we get the stop. <laughs> then on third and three, we are shutting everything down short over the middle. So he forces it deep over the middle again. That was a close one. And we almost get another interception. Of course he goes for it because, you know, this is Madden. And since he has already run a lot of double drags, I decide to shade inside and it works beautifully as the cornerbacks on both sides run the routes and shut it down. He starts to claim down my offense as well though as he quickly gets me to a fourth and short and I decide to go for it this time <laughs> only to almost throw another pick six as his best offense so far has been me turning the ball over and now he is already in scoring range. On the next play, the run defense gets completely washed out of the play. What the hell is going on? As he gets all the way down to the two yard line before punching in a wheel route to take the lead, now scoring 14 points off of turnovers. I answer back quickly though is on the next play I complete a simple corner out, but I use my block from Devontae Smith perfectly and since he's running man blitz there was no one out here to stop me as we take the lead right back. Just like that! He comes down a bunch, so I really don't have to worry about the safety on that side, but I walk back the safety on the other side to make sure that we don't give up any big plays on fade routes anymore. Against tight formations you really don't have to worry about that, but against spread formations you can see what happened like it did earlier in the game, so by walking back the safety it should take that away. I also start to play by pinching the D-line, but once I see him make multiple adjustments to the quarterback, it's obviously his hot routing, so I spread the defensive line once again before the play starts for better pass rush and gets pass. And once again everything is locked up short. He thinks he sees a guy breaking deep over the Middle once again, gotcha, bitch. but it was all a part of the plan as my safety undercuts it for another interception over the middle. And now we're trying to run clock. What? Only to find that I forgot to change my blocking coaching adjustment back to default. So now I have to pass. It doesn't start off well as he is man zero blitzing in hopes that it bails him out from having to play defense. So on the next play, I go back to the running back on a wheel route. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. Now at 10, I am definitely spraying the defensive line for this pass rush to get more pressure. And on the next play, nothing is open, so he decides to run for it. And I'm cool with that as I'm now playing prevent and the clock at this point, so you can run the ball all you like. On the next play, I'm using deep as my main goal is just to not give up any quick scores, and now he is already in field goal range. So on the next play, I make a new adjustment by putting the sub package safety into a deep middle third and using the defensive end and coverage so that I can watch the middle of the field without worrying about giving up anything deep. And on the next play, he has to run with the quarterback again, only this time he doesn't get very far. Sit your ass down! On the next play, the running back gets open underneath, which can happen sometimes, but I decide to switch up and go to a cover two blitz in hopes of getting a pressure and a sack. But look at the difference in coverage here, as everything is wide open for the first time all game, as he punches it in on the ground on the very next play. Damn it! And now it's up to my offense to kill some clock again. I start the clock by running it for a very little gain. Then I work the running back on the wheel route once again to get inside the two minute warning. Then I run it again as getting the clock started is more important than yards gained. On the next play, we hit the zig route against his man zero to get another first down, but somehow gets forced out of bounds by the animation. So we run the ball once again for almost nothing. And since we are in field goal range with only clock to play for, we do it again to make him kill all of his timeouts. Then on third and five, we run it one more time for nothing. And now now it's field goal time, so I take it all the way down to the last second on the play clock, ice myself, and get set to kick a field goal with 56 seconds left, and put it all on my defense to get the stop. 
but right as the kick is traveling through the uprights, I see a penalty pop up, as apparently he ran to my kicker off screen, and that's the ball game, as Ruffin comes back to haunt the Chiefs. So that's that's the vid. My opponent did put up 28 points, but 14 came off of turnovers, and the last one came off of prevent. So in reality, he really didn't do much after the first drive, once I start making adjustments. Try this defense out, and let me know how it works in the comment section. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. Once again, it really helps out the channel in the video. If you want to see more from this offense that I was using throughout the game, I once again have that and the coaching adjustments video that I talked about popping up on screen. So if you want to check them out, click the links, and I'm sure it'll help with your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.